What's going on guys? My name's Jamie. Welcome back to Officially Gas. Whoa, 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 whoa. bro, bro, what are you doing? I'm Jamie. I'm whoa. Jamie. What, 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 bro, this is my Give channel. me that camera, bro. Camera, bro. Give me that camera. <laughs> Yo, so what's going on guys? My name's Jamie. Welcome back to Officially Gas. And as you see, I've got the main man, Tommy, from B7TMY. Little collab going on today, and we've got his mad looking Ford Fiesta ST. You nearly messed it up there. And uh, yeah, guys, we're gonna do a little uh, review on it. So stay tuned, this should be lit. Let's get it. So guys, this ain't gonna be the usual format. Um, we're just gonna basically speak to Tommy. He's gonna to explain what he's done to his car. A lot of you guys probably know this guy and his car very well already. He's a big YouTuber. If you don't, stop this video right now. Go over to B7TMY. It's on the other side, brother. Oh, no way. Oh, <laughs> shit. Wait, <laughs> oh, that's one of I'm used to this breast, not the other breast. Guys, get over there. This one. Hit subscribe. B7TMY. Well, not, not the emptiness. <laughs> As I say, we're gonna have a little chat about exactly um, what he's done to this car and as we can see bro it, it looks absolutely mad man it needs a clean <laughs> let's, let's just i didn't plan on having my car featured today that's why it looks muddy, yeah man talk us through it um obviously it ain't stock no it's hard what's been done to it bro um so performance wise it's running stage 3 at map it's got a stage 3 air tech intercooler turbo back pretty much cobra system three inch non res no back box it's literally straight pipe uh, we've got a ITG induction kit, which is a foam filter. Okay. And then you've got, I've got the crossover, the primary silicon hoses, I've got all that. Um, and all then that. we've got six pot Tarox brakes with 16 inch Team Dynamics wrapped in ADO8R semi stick tyres. So it's sort of Jeez. like a nice lightweight. I've had like 1552s before, I've had Bowler B1s. And then these are sort of the tracks. I wanted to go more of a track style look, so uh -huh. I sort of went for them. And I've got BC Racing fully adjustable coilovers. Sick. Which are sick. <laughs> yeah, they are probably one of my favourite parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then obviously, aesthetic wise, got the. Um, it's like a. It's called a, like a matte metallic. Yeah, yeah, that looks Grey wrap. Bro. It looks, looks, looks proper clean. And then I've also got like all the stickers all the and that, the decals. And that, yeah. Even got a bit under wrap. Not many people do this. But I like under wrap. It's, Flashy. It's subtle. It's calm. And yeah, then inside, I've got. Corbo, yeah, Club Sport, these are sort of like <laughs> the cheapest, nice bucket seats. Everyone seems to buy they're them. Cheap, yeah? They're really, really oh, light. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like yeah, yeah, yeah. 200, 250 quid each. Yeah, and they smart. do the job really well. Nah, sick. And then it's got short shift dial, yeah. but loads of extra like little subtle mods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're sort of the main mods going through. Got ya. What kind of power is it running, bro? Did it's you say? Run, it's running about 320 brake, just so 320 brake. Everyone just cries at me, like saying brake was powerful. I ran that, yeah. But it's yeah. quick, though, isn't it? It is quick. The one thing I definitely would say it needs is a diff. Okay. Like when you drive it, you'll be like, if this had a diff, it'll be insane. Everyone says when they've got a diff, like roundabouts are just an, a whole new experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, it definitely needs a diff and some bigger boost parts. Apart from that, yeah. it's, I call it like the perfect sort of pocket rocket. Yeah, such, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a, like a small car, you can fly around back roads, yeah, yeah. give it hell, and you won't have no problems with it. I've never had a single nah, problem. sick, bro, sick. I see these flying around and I was, we were saying before, I've had a race with one of these, and a few of my uh, viewers would have seen the race night video yeah, I've done yeah. against the black one that was stripped out. And, and they bro, do you, bro, bro, these are a force to be reckoned with. People don't get it, and it's power to weight. Yeah. I always say it. Like, and yours is stripped out in the back, yeah, there's no back seat. So, back got, yeah. Like, rear up a strap race in there, and yeah, it's pretty much. Uh, it's like my weekend car now. I just thrash it around. And yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's sick, bro. Sick, bro. So, guys, look, one more time, get over there. Give him a follow. Make sure you follow his YouTube too. And um, yeah, bro, I think there's uh, nothing left to say. Let's uh, go out for a rag. All right, guys, so we're starting the video here. As I said, it's not going to be the usual kind of format. I'm just going to jump straight in the driver's seat. Go neck deep, bro. <laughs> That's it. You're just jump jumping in. in. You jump know what I mean? First. All I can say is I've heard this car. It sounds absolutely nuts. Yeah. We've been for a very, very short it's drive. It's not it didn't very it Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. It's definitely not an undercover kind of car. But um, guys, yeah, we're just going to roll in, hit at the deep end and get flowing. So, um, yeah. Let's 
get it. Get it. I said, bro, this is actually like my first time ever driving a ST. A, yeah, first time ever driving an ST. The now, I'm interested to see because everyone always I'll get some messages saying, "What clutch you got in this, bro?" It's normal. It's just they, they're Ooh, stock with a race clutch. Bro, that's AP bite, racing, isn't it? AP racing race clutch stock. Oh, is it? Mad. But I'm interested to see because a lot of people, even though I have an ST and I'm completely biased, yeah. they're yeah. like, "Should I buy a VXR or an ST?" It's my yeah, second yeah, car. Yeah, what yeah. do I get? And I say, "I've never driven a VXR, mate. I couldn't tell you." <laughs> <laughs> but I love my ST, so take what you can get from That's that. That's it, yeah. But no. obviously this is going to be your experience, man, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, what power was that VXR? Was that so like? the VXR that I've driven, um, he was basically full interior, but he was 411. Yeah, that, 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 is an, that, that, is that was a level. level. But again, I mean, these are quick. I've raced one of these before. Yeah, um, and you can keep these completely stock internals. Yeah, like yeah, 300 yeah. Brake and they're still yeah. safe. I think these, from what I've heard, have got a bit of a better reliability than the VXRs in my yeah, life. Yeah, I've heard that a lot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, bro, this is a <laughs> this is proper race car, though, bro. I'm yeah. hopping and bopping all around, bro. You're yeah, like, you're suspension, yeah. It's quite stiff. Yeah, it's quite stiff. Yeah. Quite stiff. yeah. Bro, ooh, fucking steering just kind of. I, I put my foot down a tiny bit. The steering wheel kind of pulled. It talks in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. You get a lot of. Is that's that what you're talking about when you were saying? And when I was saying you're going far, while I was so surprised as yeah. well. Because like there's no fight in it. That's right. It's just flat, isn't it? You've got left wheel going right. Back uh, it's up to you, bro. I would go left. And that's the traction. So you can have it semi off, or fully off. Got it on at the moment. They give it a little. Hey, guys, this is loud. I'm, I'm sure you can hear it. It's one of those ones where I always say it when you take out the rear seats and the interior, yeah. but it just heightens the sense of sound so much. Yeah. That is crazy, bro. Let's give it a go. Bro. Uh, smoke bro. So yeah, I've done my Powers A45, my mate's like stock, 
couldn't tell if the stock had stayed wrong because it was a goal far, but it f was pulling. Yeah. We was literally sitting next to each other, looking at each other's faces. <laughs> and like, um, Mark II, Mark III RSs, Paul them. Really? It's just like, it's things you wouldn't put in the same category. You yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, obviously, it's, it took a lot to get there. Not a lot. It's a lot of bolt on mods, but yeah, no yeah, internals yeah. and stuff. Yeah. You're looking at about, like, I'd say, if you went for like a cheap build, like, buy new sort of parts, you could probably get the power out of it about three and a half grand. Really? To, get, to, 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 to hit? Yeah, I'd say. So if that's you, crazy. If you, parts, you, you could get there quite easily. And what, how much do these cost kind of um, new, or even second hand? Um, what, what would this car kind of reach? Hang on, we're on a good subject Yeah, because mine's actually for sale. <laughs> guys, this car is actually for sale. So if you want a weapon, you need to go over and check out this guy's YouTube. Hit his uh, subscribe button. Also check out his Instagram because yeah, as I say, this, this has just went up for sale. Like, yeah. So you can own this with, like, you know what I mean? This yeah. is a weapon, bro. So I've been looking around, like to get it new from Ford. Yeah. So they go from like, 14 grand to around 11 grand. Um, okay. It all the like that's obviously sort of complete stock and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It varies on mileage and everything like that. Course, yeah. My one's up for 13 grand, like, as it is. Right, with, so like, you can get it already. And it's got like 10k worth of mods on it, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, he's yeah. had a lot put into it. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like, it's time for me to sort of progress on something else. Like, I've yeah. had my fun in it, I've loved it. I've had it for almost three years now. Oh, you've had it that long, yeah? Yeah, so wow. it's just, it got me into cars. Yeah. And, like, I learned a lot about cars from owning this car. Yeah, and you're and a young guy too, and you're yeah, 21, like, I'm 21. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I want to sort of move on to the next step with my cars. Definitely, definitely. And got, this is probably good to say too, guys. He's just done a review on my car. Yeah. So he's just took my, I'm trying to basically make him buy a Golf R because I'm telling him it's the best way to go. You know what I mean? Bang for buck. And anyone who watching my videos hopefully agree. But he's talking about four Focus RSs now. And I'm yeah. like, you know, I'm not sure about that. So guys, if you want to see his take and his review on my car, you got to head over there too. But um, yeah, bro, I mean, I would say like obviously having it for three years and getting it to the state of tune, you've got it at now. It's pretty yeah. much like yeah, I've had it stage three with the turbo for over a year now. Oh really? So you're used to this? Kind yeah, of yeah, it's getting quite yeah. used to it. Like it's, I still enjoy it in the fun, like you were saying in my video. Like it will still surprise you sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, you're yeah. still like, whoa, this car is quick. Like if I haven't driven for a while and I go out in it, like it does shake up them. Like, <laughs> like oh, yeah, no, that's still that's good. That's what you want from a car. Yeah, exactly. You're still getting that like excitement and fun. You the reason why you're yeah. in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. So guys, it wouldn't be officially gassed if we weren't doing a gassed up 0 to 60s with a draggy. Um, only thing that's a little bit different is, I'm doing it in your yeah. car. Usually it's, it's the other way around, the owner gets to do it. when we get to 60. <laughs> <laughs> so bruv, you hold on to that and let me know when we get to 60. You've never actually launched this before, oh, sorry, you've never actually 0 to 60 this before, have you? No, I've never done like draggy times or anything like that. All right, I'll probably do a terrible launch, but... Let's, let's go, Roll let's, see, let's see what we get, ready? What did we get, bro? 619. 6 seconds 19. Front wheel drive car, lot of um, wheel spin. I reckon we can do better. Let's maybe try the traction on. Try traction on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Six forty. Okay, six point three. It's verified. Verified. All right, guys. So I usually give him two runs. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to rag his car too much and uh, fucking burn his clutch. Much, yeah. But anyway, yeah. All right, cool. Well, a bit of science there, you know. So guys, yeah. The best today is a six. I don't even know. Six. Uh, you guys tell me. I'll put the. I think you've made it onto the leaderboard actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, guys, you tell me. I'll put the leaderboard up now. Let me know. But I think you made it on the leaderboard. Sick. I'm verified. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so that is a wrap. Um, as I said, not the usual format, just a quick little review on this little beast. Bro, thank you so much no for, for letting me rag this. Um, yeah, wicked car, absolute little, it's a beast, isn't it? It's one yeah, of them ones, it's just rocky. an unsuspect, well, I say unsuspecting, I mean, yeah, apart yeah. from the way it looks, like, you know what I mean? It's an ST, you wouldn't expect it to be doing how, what it's doing and how it's doing, but yeah, bro, sick car, um, absolute weapon, guys. If you want to buy this car, as I say, again, it's for sale. So hit up Tommy. Again, 
B7TMY. Go over there now, hit subscribe. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Go and check some of my other content out too. I'm sure you like that. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Peace out.